Leftish B and welcome to 64K and this is my new show, How To. Hi and welcome back. So this new series is going to be about teaching you to do cool stuff on your old computers or consoles. Now these are tutorial videos for sure and this first one is going to be how to load a Commodore 64 disk game. Now these are purely tutorials for people that are maybe just getting into the scene, the Commodore 64 scene, and you want to start getting into it and collecting and playing old games. Or it's also for people that maybe if you played the Commodore back in the day in the 80s and you've just forgotten how to load those games, this is for you. <laughs> Okay, so the first command I'm going to teach you will allow you to play any original disc game. I'm talking about games that are, came in a box, you know, they bought them at a store or eBay or whatever. This is an original disc. This isn't a bootleg with lots of games on it. This is like a bootleg, one of my old ones from the 80s. As you can see, it's got a whole bunch of games on there. It's not just one game. i got Bionic Commandos, Kane 2, Salamander, etc, etc. Uh, original games obviously only have one game on each disc. So now this command will let you load any original game without any hassle. So let me show you how to do that. So the command is LOAD load. You use shift and hit the quotation mark which is above the 2. Then you hit star and then you hit quotation mark again and then you do comma 8 comma 1 and then you hit return. And that is it. That's all you need to know. You can hear the disk drive there humming, the game's loading. Done. Every single original game you can load that way. It's as simple as that. We have just loaded Ghosts and Goblins. So that command again is load, quotation marks, star, quotation marks, comma 8, comma 1. Now this command is used in various slight alterations to load different types of things. So the star that I put in there, that all that means is that's going to load the first game on the disc. So if you have a bootleg disc and the first game on the disc is the one you want, say Bionic Commando, then you can use that command also, but it's only going to load the first thing on the disc. That's the thing to remember. So, like I said, original games, you're not going to have to worry. All you have to know is that command. And I should never have loaded this up, because now I just want to play Ghosts and Goblins. Okay, so next up is loading bootlegs or copied discs. Like this sucker here, that has multiple games. So there's two ways of doing this. If you know the name of the game that's on the disc, then you can type the first few letters of it with star and I'll show you the whole prompt. So let's put on the disk and we'll type load quotation marks the name bionic followed by star quotation marks comma eight comma one and slap return. Now the time it takes for the game to load really just depends on how many blocks it is, how big the program is so it can take 30 seconds or a few minutes. This one was pretty quick. Now you type run, followed by return. Yeah, so that'll just load the game directly, just like in an original game. Now if you want to look at the disk, what's actually on the disk, then this is another command you're going to have to use. So you're going to type load, quotation marks, dollar sign, quotation marks, use shift on all those, comma 8, and then return. This is going to load up the directory so we can see what's on this disk. Now when it says ready, it's ready scanned it. Now you just write list, L-I-S-T, and return again. That's going to show you everything that's on this disk. Now there's a few things of note. 
at the bottom here it says 72 blocks free all that means is that this disk has got 72 blocks of memory free and uh, that is not a lot so your average bootleg game probably takes uh, I would say about 150 to 200 blocks so like Kane 2 is 167 and Space Junk is 105 and at the top there you got Bionic Commando that's 116 I'll explain that right now but that's not a lot of space so you're not really going to fit any other real significant games on you maybe if it's something from 1982 or 83 something really small then you could probably fit it on there so some of these games are single load games like Space Junk, it's 105 blocks, there's nothing else associated with it. The next thing is Kane 2. So all that means is that when you load this game, it's going to load up, you can sit back and play it, and it's not going to be doing any multi-loading, like if you get past a level or something, that is it. Once you turn it off, it's gone, you can load it up again. Now if you look at the top here, buying a Commander, you can see it's got all this other stuff after it, before Scorpion. What that means is that this is a multi-load game. So it'll initially load up Barney Commando, the main part of the game. You'll play it, you'll probably get past first level, and then it'll start loading. And then you get past the next level, load the next level, etc, etc. So when you look at these kinds of games, the, the one you want to go for is obviously the first one on the list. So let me show you how to load that. You use Shift and Cursor, and you go up, Barney Commando, now you type Load. And then you use the cursor and you go across all the way to program there and you type comma eight comma one and then hit return okay so once it finishes loading you'll hear the disk drive stop and you'll see this little prompt over here now you can take the cursor and move it all the way down to the bottom and then you type run r-u-n return Okay, so as soon as you type run, you're going to be greeted with one of these things. You're going to be like, what is going on here? This is not Akari Warriors. I was loading, you know, Bionic Commando. What is this? So this is what we used to call cracking services or they like, hacker groups that used to uh, crack the game, hack it, and put it onto like discs and distribute it all over the world for everybody to get for free. So these guys went under the name of Akari, there's tons of these guys, there's Hotline and Eaglesoft, I used to know them all really well. Uh, this crazy scrolling thing, he's doing a shout out to all his hacker friends over the world. There's usually like accompanied by really awesome music here. Um, this one doesn't for whatever reason, most of them have music, it's pretty cool. I used to leave them on and just listen to the music, it's awesome. So you're like, what? How do I get past this? There's three ways of doing that. The most common one is hitting the fire button on your controller. You can hit the space bar on the Commodore keyboard, or you can hit the Commodore key in the corner there. If you're playing these games through emulation, just bear in mind that the Commodore key is actually escape on your PC keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's loading the beginning of the game right now. And what is this, you may ask? <laughs> So the hackers also did us a favor and they put some cheats on this game. Now you can either activate them right now or you can just play the game as normal. But you always got that option. I always thought this was pretty cool because there's some games that are ridiculously hard and it makes it really easy to capture footage on these games right now because I can show some other levels like much further in the game that I would have been playing this game for ages to try and capture this footage and I just don't have the time to do that. So this is a really invaluable tool. So it asks you, yeah, do you want endless lives? And I'm going to say no. And then it'll ask you, do you want endless time? So these are obviously game mechanics within Bionic Commando. Choose whatever you want. And then the game will continue loading. You can hear the disc there purring. Remember I showed you that list. And it had um, more commands after Bionic Commando. And those, it's loading the next file there. That's why if you're going to be loading a game like that, that is a multi-load game, you definitely want to load the first thing that will get you here, and then it will continue, and the game should start in a few minutes. And here it is, Bionic Commando. If you're a purist, you can probably tell that the music is going super fast. That's because I was just loading it off one of my old discs. They were a PAL format, and I'm playing it on an NTSC Commodore 64. Some games work absolutely perfectly. Other games have 
music issues where the music is faster or slower, or little tiny graphical glitches. <laughs> And that's it. He has the commands again for loading all these games. I hope you had fun. I hope you were able to learn something. I was able to help you out. Uh, thanks for joining me here at 64K. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Hey.